Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV. And as always, I am your host, Andrew. Today, we are diving back into our mini series called Old West Holster Positions. The style of draw that we are going over today is the cross draw. No one on the corner has a wagon like us. Hit me on my barn a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh sing and take your money. All I wanna do is and uh sing and take your money. The cross draw is when your holster is placed on your weak side and the end of it is angled towards the front of your weak side leg. In my case, that is the left leg. This style of carry was very popular amongst people who would be on horseback quite a bit or people who would also fancy themselves card games because you could just reach down and pull and your gun was drawn, and this would be very advantageous in a seated position. Speaking of sitting down, it is very comfortable to sit with your gun in this position, so it makes sense with the two prior things that we talked about. So let's get into the negatives of this carry style. The first and probably most important is going from draw to target to fire. It is the most ineffective way of doing so. Like with the standard draw or the cavalry draw, you only have to worry about elevation when you pull it from your dominant hand side. Elevation being where that gun is pointed in proximity to your target. When you have a cross draw, not only do you have to worry about the elevation up and down, but you also have a problem with swaying it left to right as well, which makes it a very ineffective way of being accurate while you're looking at your target. So I guess with the comfortability of horseback riding or poker playing, and as the name suggests, the cross draw capability, while in a seated position, you are gonna lose a little bit in terms of efficiency. Unfortunately, that is my preferred way of carrying my six gun because I like to know that it's always right within arm's length. Standard drop style is a little awkward for me because I got really long arms and I got to come up a long way to get it off my hip. Cross draw for me sits nice and comfortable on the front of my body and I can easily grab it, pull it, and fire. So the number one rule if you are going to carry it like this, which I am following currently, is not to break the 170 rule. So look at it this way, your hips make a straight line across the room and this area right here would be 180 degrees. You do not want to sit with your cross draw holster, even with your other hip. Then you start to turn your other hip to draw, which makes this even more ineffective. So make sure if you have a square available, you can check where your holster lies on your body. I'm sitting at almost 100 degrees. Here would be 90 and mine sits at 100. This would be about 170 and you do not want to go further than this point otherwise you're going to start jerking your your dominant side hip forward and you're going to have a whole mess of a time. So before we get going I'd like to say that this was a very popular carry style because of the comfortability and the advantageous situations that it can be put in. Lawmen, outlaws, travelers, you name it. And as of right now, as I'm telling you all this, post-production Andrew has probably found some pictures of people from the 1800s rocking this holster position. So thank you, future Andrew. Anyway, that's going to wrap things up for us today on Old West Holster Positions featuring the cross draw. I hope you guys enjoy, and I am not finished with this series because there are numerous other ones that I can cover. But this is how I currently hold my six gun, so I thought I'd go over it and give you the lowdown of what it feels like, how it is to draw, etc., etc. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed the video or leave a comment. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. And a little more advice would be maybe hit that bell because it'll notify you when I post a new video. But for those of you who have come across this channel and have yet to hit that subscribe button, Think about doing so because you're a daisy.
if you do.